Okay, if you are, um... <clears throat> My next guest is uh, one of the stars of a very good uh, television show called St. Elsewhere, which is on this network on Wednesday nights at 10 o'clock, and uh, Ed was nominated for an Emmy this year, and deservedly so. Would you welcome Ed Begley, Jr.? Good to see you. Congratulations on your nomination. Thank you very much. Didn't walk off with it, but what's the difference? I should say. <laughs> no, I'll be I'd fine. <laughs> Tears of joy. No, I'm really very happy for the guy I did win. Yeah. They always say that, don't they? It's just enough to be nominated among your peers. Yeah. I hope the other guy dies before he gets on stage. Anyway, no, that's It nice. was fun. It was an honor to be nominated. It really was. Yeah. Good yeah. for you. Did we talk a little bit about the last time you were here about you used to be, we got into that, a stand-up comic. Yeah, I had one of the worst acts of the 1970s. You mentioned it was yeah. a, a rather bizarre I act. I played very small clubs out in the boonies. I didn't play a lot of big clubs. Why did you decide to do that? I mean... I don't know. Um, I'm really uh, wondering. It was a... I think it was a big mistake. I mean, did your friends say, Hey, Ed, you're really kind of funny. You ought to go out and... Yeah, stand. everybody says that. People want to tell you what you want to hear. You know, hey, you're funny. The guy's funny who's, you know, the tool and die company. Get up there. You should do an act. And I was one of those guys, I think. I played... Clubs in the sticks. I mean, yeah. I got reviewed by Field and Stream much of the time. One of those, you know. What did you do? What kind of stuff? I don't want well, to require actual I, jokes, but... Uh... I had uh, a couple of things. I had this one routine where I played my body. I had, th had this guy called Bernie Synapse, who was a uh, rock musician. He was inspired by some of the acts that I would warm up for, and he played his, his body. He was a, a sick piece played of Played your body? Yeah. I don't think I should go into the details here. No, so I don't I, think I, so. I probably uh, shouldn't. Did you have costume for this, or did you just dress normal? Or? No, I would, uh, uh, I, oh yeah, I had wigs and stuff. So. I would go in back to where I had a trunk, and I would put things on, and it was pretty humiliating in retrospect. When did you decide this was not for you? Um, There's nothing worse when you're standing in one in front of a small, and you're, and you're dying. It's a nightmare. Because there's no place to go. No place to go. It's like wrestling with a bear up there. You just, it's, it's unbelievable. I, I think, uh, you know, I just had had enough by about 1978. I had had enough. So I really respect the guys that do it now, because I did it for a while with some success, but uh, yeah. finally I got tired of it. When you grew up, your father, of course, who was both in motion pictures and the theater, where were you? Did you grow up here? Did you grow up in New York? I was bi-coastal, uh, even from the 50s on. I was. I was an early bi-coastal, very trendy kid. Because uh, he'd be doing plays, sure. and then he'd do a film or a TV show, so I was back and forth, and it was very hard for me because back in the 60s, you know, during those uh, critical teen years, to be have a New York accent, to be very pale, you know, it was a surfer era, and to be pale, you know, you go to the beach, people say, hey, you should take your T-shirt off, and I'd already taken it off. You yes, know, you're very white. <laughs> But the surfers, they were very, they were very helpful, you know. I mean, I wanted to surf, and they would take me out on the board and paddle me out a ways, and I'd swim back to shore. Um, the only trouble I had was getting out of the sack. That was the big problem. Um, they were less than kind sometimes. Yeah. You, uh, St. Elsewhere is going very well. It's, uh, it's critically, it's gotten a lot of reviews. Uh, yeah. Did you ever spend any time in a real hospital at all? I did. I had the misfortune of being in a hospital several times, yeah. and it's it's even worse than depicted on our show. Our show gets kind of grim sometimes, yeah. but this is like, they do things that are unbelievable. They do, uh, I had the misfortune of having a collapsed lung, and I don't mean to frighten anybody who needs to have this done, but if you have a collapsed lung, leave it collapsed. <laughs> don't for it. No, you, of course, see a doctor and do what you have to, but I mean, it was terrible. <laughs> they, you don't need, you don't need too long, right? Uh, they, they've changed it now, I hope, but they used to take a number seven wood carving tool and get up in your chest <laughs> and like this, into the, and they'd carve your new nostril, and I think they've simplified it a bit now. But this was 72, it's like, yes. you know, where's the anesthetic, don't you? And they wouldn't put you out. Then I had a, a fractured femur, and they, okay, we've got to do a thing with your leg. What? Well, we've got to drill a hole. I said, okay, give me the gas and the mask. On. No. They drilled what do you a mean, hole. What do you mean, no? They wouldn't put me out. It was like going with the wind. They, they, drilled, they, drilled. they drilled with a hand drill, not even a power drill, Johnny. They took a hand drill, I swear to you. Huntington, uh, Hartford, uh, what a Huntington Memorial. Obviously an underfinanced hospital. I, I guess so. A, they had a hand drill with, with a leg. I don't understand. They, did they give you nothing for that? They, they gave me, in all fairness, they gave me some sort of uh, sedative or something, a mild thing for second all. I don't know what it was. But uh, it, it didn't work. They were yeah. drilling through my leg. 
But you, you seem in good in good health now. Yeah, I feel pretty good now. Now, somebody told me when they make notes on people, you know, they give me little things to talk about with you, that you are a trivia expert. Well, I don't know about an expert. Oh, that's what they told me. I'm kind of I'm I'm very good at the game Trivial Pursuit. I'm oh. a big. That's uh, what we heard. Uh -huh. Oh no. <laughs> Big mouth. Yes. We, have, we haven't set this up or anything. There are no order at all. Let me just take a card at random here. Okay, okay. What, now, what categories do you like on this? What are, what are you, I'm what are pretty you, good at entertainment. I'm and geography. Entertainment is my Well, this is too easy, this one. Yeah, who, some of them. Who played Brett Maverick? Brett Maverick with Jim Garner. You see, that's, uh, okay. that's, that's too that's easy good. for entertainment. Maybe a geography. Well, pick any one you want. Our geography is... Uh, what does a compass needle point to? What is it? It points to magnetic north. Uh, that's, that's right. We're getting the tough ones here. That's right. This is not a setup, folks. This is not a setup. I want to. All right. This this could be. Uh, now you should know this. Okay. Who was the first American world chess champion? Okay. Now it was uh, Boris Spassky and Bobby Fischer was the American, right? Bobby Fischer. Bobby Fischer is right. All righty. I haven't seen this, this man This is not before. set up, either. I haven't seen this man. Oh, I'm going to give you a tough one here. <laughs> <laughs> what U.S. congressman said, keep the faith, baby? That would be Adam Clayton Powell. You're right. Very good. <laughs> All right. How many of an animal's legs must a cowboy tie in a calf roping contest? That would be three. I know, Ed. He's <laughs> taking the... <laughs> <laughs> We're all good at these. are kind of... Uh, here's, here's, here's a tough one. I wouldn't okay. know this. What was the first James Bond film? The very first one. Dr. No. You're right. <laughs> Have they set these up? No. You've... Well, ask me one. Yes, here we go. Let me get my glasses on. What do you like, entertainment, Charlie? Sure. Okay. okay. Who portrayed Ugar Ugarte in Casablanca? Peter Lorre. Very good. One, a geography quickly. What country contains the largest ice field in Europe? Switzerland. Norway. Norway. We'll take a break and we'll be right back. 